This is Kilgore Street. We are bracing for a big winter storm. It's supposed to hit around um, 3 a.m. So it's like super gloomy, it's freezing. All right, so you can see some driveway cracks here. Looks like normal settling, um, but wanna point it out because at some point all concrete has to get Report. There's textured glass and then a storm door. And then the front door. So if you walk in, tile landing, this is polished tile, and then stairs that go up and down, so it's a bi-level, door to the garage, and then access to the backyard. So wood stairs heading upstairs. This is hardwood. This is actually, I believe, a marbled floor product. Granite countertops. Stainless steel appliances. There is the dining nook, tile backsplash, sink and window to outside. There's a really beautiful mountain view. So then the floor transitions back to wood. Pantry, full bath, again it's a polished tile floor, vanity with tile backsplash, toilet, and tile surround tub shower. Really nice tile work all the way up to the ceiling. And window to outside. So the two bedrooms up here are smaller, so they're currently being used as kids' bedrooms. And then the really large master is located downstairs. Plenty big for, I'd say, any size bed up to a queen. This does a big circle, so it loops back around into the family room. Here's bedroom two, also being used as a kid's room.
closet. And window to outside. You can see the molding accent on the ceiling. This is the coat closet. Alright, so heading downstairs. So again, wood floors that transition to this polished tile. And that's a marble product, correct? Yes. This is actually marble. It's really pretty. All right, so now a stairs transition transition to carpet. This is bedroom four. Um, the power is cut off right now. So this drywall piece backs to the renovated bathroom. So there's a permit um, that was just pulled for that in December. In the bathroom, the master bath down here is just totally redone. And there's actually workers in there right now. Um, but anyways, that drywall repair is part of the bathroom renovation. Do you mind if I video this really quick, the bathroom? Sure. Thank you. And the power is cut off to this right now because they're just finishing it up. Double vanity. Large shower. toilet. So this would be considered a three-quarter bath. Thank you very much. This is the master. So there's a closet area there. And then large walk-in closet here. This was initially a sitting area that they transitioned into a large closet, which is pretty cool. So small closet, large closet. They have their dressers over there. And then king-size bed with two nightstands. Carpet down here is stained. Um, I think it could honestly use a carpet refresh. Utility room, so new hot water heater, furnace, washer dryer. That's just vinyl flooring. I want to point out too, in the basement, these are full egress windows, so um, sometimes in basements you don't have a full fire escape access, so not the case here. This is the rec room. The second living area. You can see carpets, will, they could stand a good wash, but um, probably ultimately just replacing the square footage down here is what the next owner will do. guys are packing up so that's why there's a lot of stuff in the garage right now obviously but overhead unit you guys are good I will work around you hi hi how are you today did you have a good snack all right so side yard storage shed Come here, bud. Oh, they're good. Daddy. Little oh. garden area. Looks like they have this fenced off, or one of the owners did this at one point because the utilities are there. Back 
of the house. You can see wood deck area, storage shed. So this home does not have air conditioning. Um, pretty typical of a lot of older homes around here. So it has furnace, which is your heat, your forced air, um, but not cool air. So it's something you could always add it at some point. You can see the mountains there. I think I might have been locked out. 